everyone and welcome back to my little channel on YouTube, Charming Quarks. My name's Caroline and I'm a lecturer in physics at a UK university and today I thought I would do a little video of what's in my academic handbag. This is the bag that I use most days. Um, it's a leather satchel. I really like it because it's kind of got a bit of a smart academic feel to it. If I'm going to be going to do sports, so some days I'm at the gym, some days I go riding horses, then I tend to use a backpack or I bring a backpack as well with all my riding and sports gear in it. But this one tends to be the bag that I use for my physics and science related notebooks and stuff. Um, it's quite full. I filled it up to capacity. Um, yeah, got a nice simple catch on the front. I quite like the simple design of my handbag. Not very fashionable, so this is about as fashionable as I get. But let me show you what's inside. So first things first, academic notebook. Um, I've always kept lab diaries. When I was an undergraduate student, we kept them for our weekly lab classes. When I became a PhD student, I wrote lots of lab books over the course of my PhD. Then I joined a company and we kept lab diaries for them as a record of what we were looking at for the company and company business. Uh, they taught me there that I had to keep my paper record very strongly in pen. Uh, that was because if I wanted to file a patent at a later date, a pen record with a date stamp and countersigned by a colleague might help our patent claim. Um, I've actually only filed one patent in my career so far, and that was when I was 16. So yeah, an early, early patent. But anyway, this is my lab notebook. Uh, personal choice, but I paid a bit extra to get the ones with the Surrey logo on the front. I just think it looks nice. Um, makes me more inclined to remember to use it and to write in it if I think it looks nice. So yeah, always carry my lab notebook. I've been at Surrey now for a few years and I think this is my fourth or fifth lab notebook. So yeah, number one, a lab notebook. Closely followed by number two, my computer. Um, so just an Asus laptop, it's quite an old one now but it's still going strong. I like it because it's really thin, I don't want to carry a lot of extra weight around with me. I tend to take the laptop everywhere I go, so if I'm in a class I might have the laptop with me. It's good to have it in case the IT in the room has an issue or breaks down because then you know I can connect up my laptop instead. Um, you might wonder why I've got all the stickers on my laptop. That's because for a couple of years I had the same laptop as my other half and he one day took my laptop to his place of work and I ended up with his laptop at my place of work, which wasn't great <laughs> for that particular day. So um, yeah, I stuck some stickers on it. I like the Snoopy stickers pony stickers because hey why not you're never too old for glittery pony stickers um yeah so laptop nice and thin make it easy to carry what else have i got so pens again a bit of a sparkly pencil case um so my favorite type of pen to write in and i am not sponsored by them but i would happily take a sponsorship from them is stablo stablio stablo however you say it um, I really like these ones when I write my lecture notes. So when I'm writing at the front of a lecture class, um, rather than writing on a blackboard or a whiteboard, my preference is to write on a visualiser. So I write on paper and then it throws up onto the screen behind me and that way I can also get it to record so the students can look back at my handwritten derivations afterwards. And these pens are really good because they come in all different colours. I've got loads in here. I was lucky enough to get given some more for Christmas. So lots of different colours. They're nice and easy. Uh, they come up really nicely on the overheads when I write with them. So yeah, pencil case, of course, a couple of highlighters thrown in as well. And then for my main lab book, I tend to just write in a simple black pen. I do have a fountain pen, but I've run out of ink cartridges, so I've had to go to one of these, which isn't great because they're short-lived and you can't really fill them. So I need to get some more cartridges for my fountain pen. So yeah, so I have the pencil case, uh, glasses. Uh, I wear glasses all the time, I need them to drive, so because I do a fair bit of sport, I've lost a pair of glasses before rowing, I've fallen off a horse before and, and bashed up a pair of glasses, so I always carry a spare pair in my bag, and I have a spare pair in my car, and a spare pair in my office, because, yeah, you can never have too many pairs of glasses. This is a pair that I don't particularly like, so that's why they're in my bag all the time. They are my emergency pair that I would wear if I had to wear a pair of glasses. Uh, library card and keys. Uh, we do use the library. Academics 
do go in. It's not just for students. This is the latest library book I've got out. So this is a library book on fuzzy logic, which is one of the research areas I'm currently working on. In fact, I spent three hours this morning coding up a bit of a mathematical algorithm for one of my fuzzy logic applications. So yeah, the library is really good for us lecturers as much as it is for the students. They have a nice selection of textbooks. Sometimes I go to the library and I'll get the textbook out that I'm using to teach my class. Um, I can do that to see what the edition is that the library is holding, whether it has the worked examples in still that I remember from an early edition, and to make sure that the library has enough copies of the textbooks available. So as lecturers we work closely with the library team and before the start of every semester we issue our reading list and so we advise on what books we're going to ask the students to get and then the students hopefully will be able to have access to the textbooks that they need throughout the semester ahead. Um, when I was a student there was lots of second-hand bookshops that sold textbooks off for cheap. I'm not sure if that market's gone online now or whether people can still get them at second-hand bookshops. My favourite one was I got a K and Laby, which if you're in the world of science is a book of constants and I found that at a ch charity shop for a pound. My best find so far. But yes, library book. Um, not that I ever read it during the day. I also have the latest book that I'm reading as kind of a recreational read, I guess. This one's quite hard hitting. It's War Doctor by David Knott. Um, I read This Is Going To Hurt, which was another medical book, and it was an interesting read. Medicine isn't an area I've worked in or know much about. And this guy, David, is a frontline surgeon. So his day job is working in a hospital and then he takes leave and he goes on unpaid leave and he treats patients on the front line of war areas. So it's quite harrowing, but it's good to read. Oh yes, this is my decimeter. Um, I'll cover up my, my numbers, you can't see it, but yeah, this is my decimeter. So because I work with radiation, we have to be monitored to see how much radiation we are near over any period of time. Now usually this thing registers a zero, so the shielding in the labs are very good, our radiation sources are very well controlled, the likelihood of me getting any kind of dose is very very small, but this is a nice way of checking it. And then depending on how often you handle radiation and how frequent and high how the activity of the source is, will depend whether you have a three monthly one of these or a monthly one. Um, so yeah, my decimeter, still going, put a lot in my bag. Uh, phone charger, and without your phone charger, often I have my laptop charger as well, plaster, always at the stables, cutting my fingers, so I don't want to bleed everywhere over students work, so plaster, oh yeah and finally just a little bag, I don't wear that much makeup, but just a few bits and pieces if I want to refresh my makeup before a lecture or a meeting during the day, so yeah that is what's in my bag, um, that's a typical set of stuff that I carry around with me. So lab notebook and my laptop are probably the most important bits, I guess, from a work perspective. And then of course my radiation decimeter and my library card. Um, of course my phone isn't in this pile, my phone always tends to live in my back pocket. So yeah, that is my work handbag. I hope that gave you a little bit of insight into what a lecturer needs for a day at university. Um, yeah. If you think I'm missing anything in my handbag, comment below. It would be interesting to know if you think there's something I should be carrying around with me. Sometimes I carry around my laptop adapter. So if I know my laptop's got to work with other projectors or something, I'll carry that around. Um, and of course, sometimes I have my camera thrown in my bag as well. But yeah, that is my academic bag. Hope it was vaguely interesting. Thank you very much for continuing to watch these videos. Um, I'll be back next week and I'll share another bit about academic life. All right, bye. <laughs>